There are only a couple of events each year in the off-campus student housing industry that bring all of the industry leaders together. The National Multifamily Housing Council's annual Student Housing Conference is the longest running conference for the industry. 2024 marks the 21st year for this conference and is being held October 7th through the 9th at the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the premier event for student housing professionals bringing together leaders from all facets of the sector, including owners and operators, investors, lenders, and university partners. The conference features the industry's best and brightest minds all at one event, delivering the knowledge, tools, programs, and connections necessary for leaders to shape their future success and the future of our industry. So who are some of the folks attending this year's conference? Let's meet one of them right now. So Rob, I hear you're going to Vegas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, for those in our audience who have no clue about campus technologies or CTI um, and what it is that you guys do, give us that that 30 second elevator pitch. Yep, not a problem. I'll try and go 30 seconds. Uh, so Campus Technologies is a wired and wireless internet partner at its core. We've been operating in one form or another since the 1990s. So uh, makes us basically the oldest uh, dedicated student housing internet partner in the US. Um, our employees and business come from uh, student housing, real estate and tech, which gives us a well-informed viewpoint uh, when we're working with our partners and uh, clients. We know networks aren't cookie cutter, so we work to deliver a network specific for the uh, client and the project that we're working on. Uh, Wi-Fi should just work, and we make sure it does. That's a perfect way of describing what the, the, those last that last sentence is probably all you even had to say was we know what <laughs> Wi-Fi is and we know how to make it work. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to fill the thirty seconds, man. <laughs> Um, well, hey, so I, this is the first time that, that you're you're going out there. do want to mention you guys are a sponsor of an event that we're doing, um, which is our, our Top Golf Mixer event. We did it last year for um, a lot of those that, that may have went last year. Maybe you were uh, a part of that. Had a great time. We're going to do it again this year. Um, it's the largest Top Golf um, uh, in the, in the country. And so we're, uh, we're going to take advantage of that. And we've got a good portion of the, of the top floor rented out. Yeah. Um, definitely again, looking forward to that. Yeah. Again, thanks. Thanks to you guys for, for being a sponsor of that. But, oh, um, and for those of you listening that, you know, you, you haven't got an invite from me yet on it. Um, if you're an owner and operator, uh, it, this, we're hosting this specifically for, you guys. So, um, like I said, if you haven't got an invite from me, uh, feel free to send me a, an email. I'll put that email address in the show notes and we'll make sure that, that you get there. Um, I, you guys have got a, a white paper coming out that I think could probably help a lot of them, especially if they're going into, into acquisition. Do you want to talk a little bit about that and we'll make sure that there's a, a link to it, um, in the show notes? Yeah. Um, it's called, is your property wiring obsolete? Uh, we live in interesting times. We should plan for them. So basically what it's covering is uh, the wiring in these older student housing properties. Some of the older ones do have, you know, multi-mode, multi-mode fiber. Sorry about that. Um, as well as, you know, Cat5 cable in the uh, walls. Uh, once we start making that transition to Wi-Fi 7, it's basically going to be obsolete, unfortunately. People didn't really think about it. You know, you put the yeah. wires in the walls and it works, you know, yeah. so. But these are things that I think a lot of developers and um, owner operators need to really think about, you know, do we wait a couple of years? Do we take a look at it? What can we change now? Uh, is there any way we can, you know, keep what we have, but make it, you know, last a little longer? And, you know, we, we go over a lot of that in the, uh, white paper. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but spoke with uh, spoke with Andy about it last week, and there was uh, uh, quite a few interesting things that that he highlighted. And I'm um, I know that's going to be something that is really going to help a lot of the um, the industry folks out, especially when it comes to obviously um, looking at acquisitions on 
value yes. add stuff. So that's going to be huge. Um, thanks, thanks for doing that. So hey, getting back and talking about Vegas, any any plans on something that you is there a show you're going to watch or a particular restaurant you're going to try to get to? Not necessarily. I do want to go check out the sphere thing. Um, yep. I'm, I'm just interested in it because it's different. I mean, really, that's, that's really all I can see that, that I'm really looking forward to, but I, I I'm looking <laughs> forward to get, getting out there. I haven't been there since pre COVID. So, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like, everything's going to be brand new again. Yeah. So much has changed. Uh, last year was the first time I'd been in probably a decade. Um, okay. if not longer. I took my wife out and my oldest daughter cause it was her senior year. And you know, we like, Hey, oh. let's, let's go out, out there, spend a little bit of time and we went to grand Canyon did all that kind of stuff. Each evening we ended up taking in some shows and we, we did go to the sphere. I did not okay. get to see you two, you know, while, uh, <laughs> while they were playing, I really hated that. But um, we did go and check out, uh, they've got this, I think it's called Postcard to Earth or something. It's worth going and experiencing it if you haven't been. Okay. I will not go and watch another movie that makes me feel bad for being a human being. Okay. Uh, so just, okay. just heads up to anybody who hasn't seen it. Uh, but they've actually got a YouTube uh, uh, film that they're a virtual experience thing that they're doing. Um, oh, wow. So... Uh, looking you know i think i might go check that out but um but yeah if you if you haven't i mean that's that's the biggest thing that i think stands out when you get there now mm -hmm. um but man if you haven't been been there since uh you know 2018 or, yeah, or before it's it's, 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 it's different very new. yeah yeah a, a lot of new stuff i mean I, other than you know getting out there and seeing a lot of the people that i normally see at the conferences hopefully meet some newer people I think the sphere was the other thing that I was look, looking forward to. Yeah. Well, I've been checking out the attendee list, you know, as we've sent out invites to, to owners and operators, and there's definitely some, some new firms that are going to be there um, from the, from the ownership and, and operating side. But right. uh, even from vendors, we've got all these AI companies that are, yeah, you know, Very now cool. a, a staple at these, at these conferences. So a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to, to take in for sure. Well, hey, um, I, I mentioned the white paper. We'll make sure yep. we've got a link and everything for that in the show notes. But if someone wants to make an appointment uh, and spend some time with you while you're in Vegas, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, email, as usual. It'll be rcollins, so it's C-O-L-L-I-N-S, at Campus Tech, C-A-M-P-U-S-T-E-C-H dot net, or my cell phone, 215-490-7912. Probably shouldn't put that out on YouTube, but eh, what are you going to do? So um, <laughs> we'll we'll cut it out. We'll cut no, it. No, out. no, no, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, those those are the two easiest ways, and I will uh, send you a QR code for uh, Calendly, and maybe we can add it to this. Yeah, video. we'll put it. We'll put it at the end of the video. So if they're watching with their computer and want to snap it with their phone, they can do that. Awesome. Well, fantastic. We'll get all that in the show notes if uh, if folks were listening to this while they were. Um, while they were driving, hopefully they weren't watching it while they were driving. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get all that information and looking forward to seeing you there. All right, looking forward to seeing you. Have a Take good care. one, sir. Take care. All right, bye.